Hey y'all, hey, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? I hope y'all are doing great today. Having a good day. Shoot, I'm chilling. But um, I wanted to talk to y'all about how you can know the signs of like a toxic or narcissistic person. Because they love to try to control you, you guys. So I'm going to give you some examples of like power and control, right? And I always, for the most part, use my mom as an example because, you know, like a video game, you know how you got like all the little like, you know, the little mini uh, enemies and then you meet the big boss. You know what I'm saying? Like my mom was like the big boss of narc of my life and basically beating her enables all nurses to just get their ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? At this point, if they're a total like quote unquote stranger, it's easy to just go ahead and slice and dice you, cut you off, cash you to the side, never talk to you again. And I'm 100% okay with that. But I'm gonna give you some examples of how like when they when they're um if there's a threat to their power and their control over you, they will attempt to try to instill fear in you. So what are so what are some examples of this? So I'm gonna give you some examples. So my mom would always try to use like rape as a scare tactic. Like growing up, it was always rape this, rape that, rape, 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 rape. It got so to the point that one day I just told her straight up like if I ever got raped and hopefully that would never happen, right? This is what I was telling her back then. I was like, I just want you to know, I'm not gonna come crying to you about my violation. That's gonna be between me, the guy that I'm I'm dating or I'm, um, my husband if I'm married and the police and the rapist because obviously I would seek to find him and like take him out this world. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna boo-hoo cry to you and I would never tell you about what would happen. So you might as well stop all this rape talk right now, right? So after I shut her down with that and let her know that if it ever did happen, you know, God forbid it never does, right? Um, then she'll hit me with the, well, well, don't act like it can't happen to you. I'm not saying that it can't. I'm simply saying that if it did, I'm not going to tell you and I'm not going to cry to you. You'll be none the wiser to my situation because it's exactly that, my situation. Why would I even trust to tell you something like that? That's a traumatizing situation. You feel me? You already traumatizing enough. And why would I tell you some shit? Why? So you can just go around and try to shoot me with my own, you know, story of, you know, you know what I'm saying? So once I told her that I'm not going to cry to her, I'm not going to tell her it ain't her business. Then she jumps to, uh, <laughs> well, AIDS is out there, you know, like, like randomly we could be eating dinner and she'll just bust out talking about AIDS or some STD and she would do it so much. Right. One day I asked, I said, do you have AIDS? Are you like secretly dying? Cause we know that they harbor deep dark secrets that they refuse to let anyone else in on. You will never know these people. You know, you will never know them. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, you got AIDS, bitch? You dying? She she got silent. She didn't say anything. And so am I, So that, that's what leads me to believe that today she's dying of AIDS. I could be right. I could be wrong. But any other time when I say something, you know what I'm saying? She likes the battle back and forth back and forth but the fact that she got absolutely silent seems like i struck a nerve or i struck gold the truth the I, I found the truth nugget you know what i'm saying so i mean she probably has aids i don't know but if she does well that's what you get for being a little whore you know um because that's what narcissists do they like to be whores they fuck multiple people and everything like that and Proof is in the pudding because I'm a quote unquote bastard baby because you're a mistress and I'm a mistress baby. But that I don't even give a fuck about that. Whatever. I am that I am. I, I am who I am. And I'm just like my daddy. Ooh, she can't stand that. She like, I feel like she had me just to try to trap his ass. 
And he was like, bitch, fuck you. I'm about to kid. Fought for me for like 10 years. But to this day, she still wants to try to talk about how he's a deadbeat. And he this. And he that. Girl, the man is dead. You might as well let all that go. But she's still holding on to a grudge. I don't know what happened between y'all. But you know what? That ain't got shit to do with me. I'm here. I'm present. My life is how it is. I'm getting to know the people on my daddy's side. And she hates it. Oh, she hates it because that's a threat to her power and control. I told you that your daddy's a lying piece of shit. His family ain't shit. Da 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 da. But you fail to realize I'm half of him. So for you to say that you hate him, that means you hate me. For you to say that you, you know, uh, all these terrible things that she would say about him. It made me feel some type of way because I'm half of that man. And you know what's crazy? I look exactly like him. I look nothing like my mama. The only thing me and my mama got in common is the color of our eyes. Other than that, she got a box ass head looking like a... Uh, Shit, I don't even know. Anyway, her shit is a box. I don't have a box for a head. I got a round head. You know what I'm saying? She got a like a bird, like a, I don't know, a Jewish nose. If that, if y'all get the description of what I'm trying to say, my nose ain't like that, right? But she also created an insecurity in me when I was younger um, with my nose, cause she was she would just make. Uh, this is how they attack you. They attack your um, self-confidence, your self-esteem, your self-worth. You know, when I was a kid, she up there, oh, you know, making little snide and shady ass comments about my nose. My nose is in the center of my face. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm too broke to go get a nose job. Because, you know, these are thoughts that went through my mind as a kid or a teenager, right? My nose is cute. I don't give a fuck. I was like, I got a cute nose. I don't know what the fuck she talking about. Just because you got an ugly ass nose, a big ass nose, you know what I'm saying? That's on you. But I mean, a nose is a nose, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, this is what makes me unique. You know what I'm saying? This is what makes me me. You know, but she wanted me to be a fucking carbon copy clone of her. Well, I don't know why your teeth like that because, bitch, I got my daddy's teeth. Well, I don't know why your feet look like that because my feet, like, my feet are like this. Like, it's a straight line because all my toes literally, like, I could go straight across. You know what I'm saying? But her shit is, like, slanted. You know? I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about. But you know the shapes of people's feet. Her shit is, like, eh. And mine is, like, eh. You know, I got my daddy's feet. And so she would point out the features of my dad and me. Cause again, she hates that man. So she's gonna point out features in me. I don't know, you know, bitch, it's, it's common genetics. I'm half of you, I'm half of him. You're just mad that I have more, if not 90% features of him than you. And I thank God that I have his genes because if I had your genes, I'd be a baby narc. You know what I'm saying? I would be a devil's incarnate too. I don't want that. Mm -mm. No, I'm good. But anyways, so, you know, just the fact of me being born and having features like my daddy was a threat to her power and control because I'm supposed to look just like her. So, you know what she did to my hair? She relaxed it because my hair is naturally curly, just like my daddy's hair. And so she would relax it so it could look like her hair. You know what I'm saying? And, um... It was just certain things that she would do to try to, like, make me feel some type of way. I got my dad's skin complexion because my mom was darker than me. You know what I'm saying? So then, so therefore, she'll sit there. Oh, look at you, little white girl, little light, bright. You know, making all these little light skin comments. Oh, snow white. You know what I'm saying? But as a kid, it hurt my feelings because I'm the only light skin person in my family. Now, ironically, even though I'm the black sheep of my family, I'm the only light-skinned motherfucker in my immediate family. You know what I'm saying? So I already felt like an outcast as a child because nobody else looks like me. All of y'all are black as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So then, you know, um, so when she would say shit like that, and I was like, Mom, stop calling me that. Mom, stop teasing me. Mom, stop. She didn't respect me because she would continue to up the ante to bully me 
You know what I'm saying? So for a long time, I did suffer from like, you know, uh, self, uh, self, low self-worth, low self-esteem, low self-confidence because she attacked me from a child. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, like my favorite color is blue. Why you like blue? You should like red. Why? Because red, your favorite color? I don't give a fuck that you like red. I like what I like. You like what you like. Leave it at that. But she wanted me to like what I have to be like her. I have to like what she likes. I have to hate the people that she hates. I have to like the people that she likes. And the people that she surrounds herself with is pedophiles, toxic, dysfunctional, nasty, just, ugh. You know, bottom of the barrel motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Trash. Riff raff. So, anyways, um, when you, you know, are a threat to their power and their control, you know what I'm saying? They like to instill fear. So I told y'all about how she would always bring up rape, how she would always try to uh, bring up like STDs. I don't know why it had to be sexual related, but that just goes to show that um, as a child, she was always trying to like sexualize me. You feel me? Because why are you always talking about rape? And on top of that, at nine years old, you're very inappropriate to show me your pussy, bitch. Nobody wants to see your uh, fucking um beef curtains shit you got worn out and you ran through i don't want to see that you telling a nine-year-old oh this is a clit and this is how a man pleases you bitch i'm a child i don't even know what the fuck that shit means you know what i'm saying but in her fucking warped ass mind she she wasn't meant to be a parent because if you're doing that to me as a child I can only imagine what you did to my brother and why he is a current sexual violent predator, a.k.a. pedophile, you know what I'm saying? And he did prison time for molesting kids, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like my brother. I ain't going to be around that motherfucker. But at the same time, I'm like, I get why you fucked up because our mom, you know what I'm saying? But still, you had a choice. You made you made the choice to be just as fucked up as she is. So I don't fuck with either one of them. You know what I'm saying? If I got to be out here by myself, I'm be out here by myself. Because they need me more than I will ever in this motherfucking lifetime need them. And that's what y'all need to learn. These narcissistic, toxic people need you more than you will ever fucking need them. Ever. They know that you are going to be successful. That you got potential. That you got self-ambition. That you... You have everything that they don't. Because my mom would always try and tell me, you're nothing like me. Bitch, you damn right I'm nothing like you. But see, as a child, I took it as like something was wrong with me. Well, I'm supposed to be like my mom, but I'm not like my mom. Something's wrong with me. No, something was wrong with her. The issue was her. But she would always try to make me feel like the problem was me. That everything was my fault. It's my fault that she lost our house, even though she uh, was not paying the mortgage. I'm a child. Even though I was like, I was 21 when she lost our house. I just now, re I recently graduated you know, high school, I've been working and going to college. What makes you think I can take care of you or any of these bills like that? No, I do not off of a minimum wage job, y'all. McDonald's, $7.25. Come on now. No. But if, if they can't use fear to scare you, this is what they'll do next. Bully you. Just like the examples I gave you how, you know, she was picking at my, you know, my um appearance, you know, um, if you look at my other videos, y'all can see I got a cute ass figure. You know what I'm saying? My mama made me feel fat. And it's a wonder that I'm not anorexic. You know what I'm saying? Because every time I turn around when I was a teenager, she was always giving me, your thighs is too fat, bitch. Thick thighs save lives. If you ain't going to be eating my pussy, bitch. Well, not if you ain't going to be. You not going to be eating my pussy. So why are you worried about anything that's down there? You know what I'm saying? Weird. Yo, 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 titties is too big for your frame, bitch. Just say that you build bowl baggins and your titties are sagging. Shit. Damn. You mad because my, my titties is up. You know, I was 18. You know what I'm saying? My shit is up right up under my chin. And you mad because your shit is down to your knees. Now it's down to the flow. But I mean, that's your business. Go hit the gym and lift some weights. And even with all of that, I still don't think you can get them titties back on track. But 
I digress. Whatever. Animal balloons. So, <laughs> I'm just saying. She's always trying to pick at me. You know what I'm saying? Um, she told off on herself one day because uh, I had uh, some purple hair in or whatever. You know, playing with colors in my hair because I had a phase that I, I had to prove to myself that I could make it without her. You know, she she had writ on, written on my subconscious mind that I can't live without her. You know, I'm going to be a failure and I'm going to be homeless and, and, you know, struggling without her. Right. <laughs> so because, again, her being a narcissistic mom, she knew that once I got older that I'm going to have my own mind, my own thoughts, I'm going to do my own shit. So she's up there, you know, trying to keep me dependent on her. She don't want me having my own place, my own car, my own good paying job. Um, you know what I'm saying? She don't want it. She wants me to depend on her. Well, depending on her, my car would have been repossessed. I would have been evicted out of my apartment, waiting on her to help me with bills because her motivation is to sabotage me. She doesn't want me, you know, to be more successful than her. She financially abused me. You know, stole $3,000 from me when I was 15. You know, working my first job, stacking up. She took that, talking about some, oh, I got to pay the bills. Bitch, you weren't paying no bills with the money that I worked hard for. Because why did, why did we lose our fucking house, bitch, if you was paying fucking bills like you claim you was? Shit. She wasn't doing that. I don't know what the fuck she was doing with my money, but she fucked it off. Then maxing out my credit cards, you know, um, I'm just now starting my credit, you know, got my first one or two credit cards. She maxed them bitches out, never helped me pay them off, never paid me back, but then got the nerve to ask me to co-sign. I ain't co-signing your bitch ass shit. Don't you, I slap the lips off your face. You fix your mouth to ask me for a motherfucking thing. Have you lost your mind? Well, I'm your mother. So, so you could be, you could be my booty crack. No. The hell? I, I need my credit to do the things that I want to do in life. I needed my credit to get my car, to get my place. You know what I'm saying? And if you already screwed me over by maxing out my credit, why would I jeopardize anything further? But that was all financial abuse, y'all. It was all financial abuse because her taking my money, my hard-earned money away, you know what I'm saying? Because, again, my money wasn't my money. My money was her money. And her warped ass, psychologically fucked up mind. That money is my money. So I'm entitled to go and spend it how I want to spend it, even though she didn't work for it. You know what I'm saying? Got me like a fucking slave. You know what I'm saying? I'm so serious, like, she ruined life. Like, my sophomore and junior summers were fucked off because she want me to help her build her business. It's basically work for her ass for free. Last time I checked, y'all, if y'all are trying to build a business for your children, you not about to sit there and let them, they not about to work for free. You're trying to go ahead and pay them. You know what I'm saying? This bitch wanted me to work for her ass for free. The free free. You know? I was just like, you done lost your mind. Like, ain't nobody about to work for your ass for free. You want me to be a slave working for free while you reap the benefits and get paid. And then you ain't even going to use that money towards the bills of keeping our house like you claim. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's just crazy. But threatening her control and her power just by me um, being on this channel, you know what I'm saying, creating it, talking about it, um, it's a threat to her control. That's why she was in my comments talking about some, somebody's making me a public figure. And, and they're outing my business, but it's not me. This is my business. What you mean, sis? What you mean? If you didn't want your business, our business out there, then you should have never 
being an NPD person. I mean, they say it's a personality disorder, but I don't think so, y'all. I don't believe that shit for a minute. It's all spiritual because at the end of the day, it comes down to choice. They choose. You know what I'm saying? And I'm so glad at this point that I did cut her off because I'm 30. She's 60. And as a narcissist ages, they get even worse. She's getting worse because her titties is hanging to the flow. She got a fupa. You know, belly just hanging, slanging ball banging jiggling wiggling you know what i'm saying like she don't look like she used to she doesn't have the beauty that she used to so she can't pull men in her black widow web like she used to she can't sit there and draw innocent young women to her like she used to. she can't get the same supply like she used to because she's old and she knows that her looks is kicking in. She knows. Gray hair. You know what I'm saying? Like she know. That's the reason why she hating on me. Because I remind her of how beautiful she used to be when she was 30. You know what I'm saying? Now granted, at 30, we both, we both are beautiful. But I'm beautifuler. More beautiful. Because my soul is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? I am beautiful on the inside and the out. She was only beautiful on the outside, but her insides is disgusting. But boy, let me tell y'all, they try to bully you. I remember um, she was trying to control me using um, my first card that she helped me with. You know, um, she had to control when I when I when I drove when I could and couldn't leave and stuff like that. What is the point of me having a car if I can't go hop in it when I want? It's not, you know what I'm saying? Within reasonable hours, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, it was just crazy. I put $8,000 into fixing that car up because she wasn't keeping up the maintenance on it. New tires, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what else? I did... Basically, that car was damn near rebuilt. Tail lights, headlights. I had to what? Uh, she broke my damn rear view mirror. Didn't even fucking tell me until I hit a pothole. And then the motherfucker fell down and broke. Then she, I was like, oh, I forgot to tell you I broke it. How the fuck you forget to tell me that you... How the fuck you forget? But then she wants to tell me if I forget to tell her something. Well... You did that on purpose and da 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 da. Like her cars were breaking down. You know what I'm saying? Like, boy, she's terrible with cars. I thought my car was gonna blow up when it caught on fire for the first time. I was like, what the fuck? I was just like, all of these problems happened because you didn't keep maintenance up. And my pockets was constantly being drained, going to pay for something on this vehicle. So you know what? I told God, I was like, bro, I need a different vehicle because I don't got key. I don't have money to keep. Literally, every time I fixed one thing, something else will go wrong and something else. But you can't have a car for 10 fucking years and only do oil changes. Damn, you got to change the tires. At some fucking point in 10 years. You got to change the suspension. Some point in 10 years. Air compressor. Everything under that motherfucking hood was brand new. By the time I got done. And the last thing that was going out on that car was the starter. I didn't have money for that. I said fuck this shit. And God blessed me with my Chevy. And I have not had that many issues with my Chevy. I've had that baby for what? Five, six years now? And that baby be pushing. She's very, very reliable. You know what I'm saying? I do my research. My mama don't. My mama didn't see my Chevy. Pictures of it. And so her hating ass talking about some. Can I drive it, bitch? No. Because I feel you're purposely driving into a fucking phone pole. Or purposely hit something or somebody. You'll purposely wreck my vehicle because you're jealous that I have good taste and that I was able to on my own by myself 
do what you deemed impossible, which was buy my own car. You know what I'm saying? You know, she tried to write on my subconscious mind. You can't survive without me. So I set out on a journey to prove to myself. That's the reason why I moved to Virginia. Virginia is over a thousand miles away from St. Louis. I didn't know nobody there. And that was the point. Because if I don't know nobody, I get to make new friends, meet new people, go new places, explore, just a fresh start. Because there's no way I could heal in the same environment that destroyed me. You know what I'm saying? Or tried to break me. I say try because I'm not broken. You know what I'm saying? I'm resilient as fuck. You know? And that's one thing that I can truly say that I admire in my own self. You know what I'm saying? Is that I never gave up. I didn't know how I was going to go about doing this, that, and the third. I didn't know how I was going to pay a car note with car insurance, with an uh, apartment. I didn't know how I was going to do none of that. But I didn't have to worry about none of it because, shoot, God had me. He was like, girl, you could have whatever you like. You know what I'm saying? Spoiling my ass, right? Now, mind you, faith without works is dead. I put in the work. Because I go to work. You know what I'm saying? I I invested in myself to change my own fucking life. My mama didn't help me get my CDL. I had to max my credit cards out, go to trucking school, and get my CDL. And now I'm making more money than I've ever made prior. You know what I'm saying? And I'm always striving to do better and better and better. You know what I'm saying? Because the only person I'm in competition with is myself. That's it. Um, and that's the reason why my mom is a failure now because she's so busy out here competing with me and she failing miserably you know what I'm saying but she used to kill me um, calling herself trying to assert her control I'm gonna come get that car well come get this card in but I just want to warn you be prepared to pay over three thousand dollars because I'm petty y'all I'm petty Betty when I want to be you know you gonna make uh, threats don't don't threaten me unless you're gonna go through with it, okay? Cause I'm a I'ma call your bluff. Like we playing poker, okay? But she gonna tell me, well, I'm coming to get that car. I said, okay. This bitch about to be sitting on four bricks because I paid for these fucking tires. I'm about to drain that motherfucking car of oil because that was my money that I put into it. I'm about to take out the headlights, the tail lights, I'm taking off the steering wheel, the horn, the fuse horn. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking my rear view mirror back. I'm taking, uh, I don't know how I was going to take the suspension off that motherfucker, but I would have figured it out. Basically, it the car was going to be a frame by the time she came to get the bitch. Because I basically had put that much money into fixing that motherfucker up. There wouldn't have been no engine, no transmission, no AC compressor, no radiator. No nothing. That motherfucker would look like it came off the factory line. Just a body. A frame. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, and then and then to tow that motherfucker from New Orleans all the way to St. Louis. Woo! That was a three thousand dollar tow, y'all. I did the math. But that bitch owed me three thousand dollars anyway for stealing that from me at fifteen. So shit, it would have been an even trade. After I told her that, I said, mm-hmm, I'm going I'm to leave this bitch on four bricks. Oh, and siphon the gas out that motherfucker, because that's my gas. I paid for that. And you think I'm a bitch, please? Well, the car's in my name. I don't give a fuck. Take me to court. We can go to Judge Judy, Judge Mathis. We can go to whomever, because you don't want to go to Judge Mathis now. Because Judge Mathis going to be like, I know a crackhead when I see one. You know, we can go to Judge Taylor because I like her too. Shoot. You ain't trying to go see no judge. You already got a track record of being in the courts anyway. You know, now, 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 you know what I'm saying? Boy, look, look. But I'm just saying, she tried to control me by talking about, well, I'm going to come get it. Come get it. Come on. Come on, Cletus. Come on. Come on. She ain't never came and got that motherfucking car. But she want to talk all that shit. Okay. Shit. I'll call your bluff in a heartbeat. 
But that's when I actually started learning my power too. You know what I'm saying? She talk all that shit trying to scare me, trying to bully me, trying to control me, trying to assert her dominance and power. Girl, please, talking about, I brought you in this world, I'll take you out. Well, taking me out is manslaughter, homicide, murder. You know, either way, your ass gonna go to prison. So take me out. By all means, I ain't gotta pay no more motherfucking bills, bitch. I didn't ask to be here, but I'm here. You decided to let my daddy bust that nut in you. And boom, here I am. But uh, while you over there wishing, woulda, coulda, shoulda, I'm here, I exist. I have the permission to exist, you know? So I need you to go on somewhere because you got the permission to exist too, but you need to exist on over there away from me, out of my life, because I like peace, not drama. But that's an example, an extreme example, because I can't give you no example other than, you know, using my mom and using my life. But that's how they try to, you know, they try to scare you. You know what I'm saying? They try to bully you. They try to break you down. And so because I know what it felt like to be at the bottom, now that I'm at the top, shit, I walk around this motherfucker like I own it. Yes, I feel like I'm the shit. When somebody be like, oh, you're beautiful. Cause there's a time where people be like, oh, you're so pretty, you're so beautiful. And I felt that I was ugly. And it was all in the mindset. Even though people would tell me how pretty I am, how pretty my hair is, this, is and that, it didn't matter because it started with me. You know, if I, that's, that's why I realized that you know, I can reassure somebody like, man, you're handsome or you are pretty. But if they don't believe it, my words don't matter. And it wasn't until I actually started looking in, my, in the mirror to, you know, and affirming to myself that I'm the shit. I got this. I'm living life. You know what I'm saying? Then my confidence started coming up. My self-esteem started coming up my self-worth started because see i allowed all of that to be in the power of someone else's hands you know being it was my mom at the time you know but once i took my power back and and kept that to myself can't nobody make me feel ugly even if they be like oh you ugly anyway okay you have a great day too be blessed you know what i'm saying they be like I just called this bitch ugly and she ain't phased. Nope. Because the song, hey, I, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. So to somebody, I probably am ugly and I'm okay with that. I'm cool with that. That's fine. You know, shit. If I, if I ain't your cup of tea, cool. Like y'all, hey, y'all know Waldo on uh, Family Matters, how he be like, cool. <laughs> That is exactly my damn attitude. Like Waldo, Geraldo, Waldo. Cool. Hit him with the cool. I ain't about to argue with you. Cool. They get mad, y'all. They be getting mad. I be like, why you mad? Because I said cool and I ain't going to. But see, that's, that's what they want to do. They want to argue with you and take you out your element. You know what I'm saying? Because attention is attention, whether it's positive or negative. They don't care as long as they get it because they're attention whores. But anyways, I ain't trying to run it up too long. So like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Y'all beware of these people. Watch. Because I don't attack people. I attack the behaviors, the patterns, the toxicity, the dysfunction. You know what I'm saying? That's what, because I'm an advocate against domestic violence, y'all. I just gave you examples of financial abuse. And as a result of that, it creates codependency because there's a lot of people in this world who are fighting codependency. I was there, been there, done that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, if you have released a toxic individual out of your life, pat yourself on the shoulder. I'm proud of you that you got out that, that, out that friendship, that family ship, that relationship, you know, that co-worker ship, boss ship, whatever. So, anyways, y'all. Peace. Positive energy always creates elevation. Peace, y'all.